Hello guys, my name is Sajay and I'm welcome to another video. So in this video, I'm going to talk about the display technology that I used in this smartphone today. The IPS LCD display and the AMOLED display. So without any further waiting, let's get started. In this video, I'm not going to go into technical details about how these displays are made or how they work. I'm just going to explain now, show to you guys the major difference between these two type of displays. The IPS LCD and the AMOLED display. So before we get into the video, here's something for you. In this video, one of the phone is having an IPS LCD display while the other one is having an AMOLED display. And I want you guys to guess which phone is which type of display. If you want any clue, look at the black color of the wallpaper. Video guess? Moving on. The LCD displays have been around for many decades right now and IPS LCD display is the advanced version of the LCD display or LCD version 2.0. Almost all the smartphones started with an LCD display and slowly migrated towards the IPS LCD display and towards the AMOLED display. And nowadays, almost all the smartphones have an IPS LCD display or an AMOLED display. And if you are watching this video on a smartphone, then your display will either be one of those. The major drawback of having an IPS LCD display is the screen cannot produce true black. Or in other words, if you are using a phone in night and you view or you watch a video that has black color or view a picture that is black then you can see that the display is still lit on by the light the screen if it's on is entirely on and if the screen is on and you're trying to view a black picture then you will not get any black color because of how they are made and how they were and this is where the AMOLED display comes in so if you have switched from a LCD phone to an AMOLED phone the one thing you will notice is that the blacks in AMOLED are super black and this is the AMOLED strength. AMOLED phones can display true black compared to IPS LCD screen. And this is because in AMOLED phones, they are made up of LEDs and this LED can be individually turned on and off. So for viewing a picture that has black color, in AMOLED phone, the display corresponding to that black color will be turned off. Hence, you get true blackness with the AMOLED phone. Now coming back to the first video that I showed you guys in the beginning, it is the phone on the left side of the screen that has the AMOLED display and the other phone has the IPS LCD display and if you look carefully you can see that the IPS LCD display wallpaper is not really black while the AMOLED wallpaper is much more closer to black or black itself and this is the major difference between the IPS LCD display and the AMOLED display and to even show more how vibrant the colors appear in AMOLED display are if you look at this video as I turn off the lights, you can see that the colors pop out and you can see the black background is really black and the colors are much more vibrant and this is the strength of AMOLED display. But this doesn't mean that IPS LCD displays are bad, they are good enough. They have been used by some flagship phones in our world. So the other major difference between IPS LCD and AMOLED display is that AMOLED displays are much more thinner compared to IPS LCD display and because of this they can be bent or they can be made into foldable display and this is the case with all the foldable displays all the foldable phones that came around this year like the Samsung Galaxy Fold and all so AMOLED displays are very thinner compared to LCD display and AMOLED display can produce much more dark color compared to LCD display and this is the major difference between both of them so hands down AMOLED beats the IPS LCD display but they both are two sides of the same coin and if you have one phone you should not feel bad because both the display have come to a point where they are both exceptionally good and you will not feel the difference when you are using them and that's it for today's video if you like this video hit the like button and subscribe to my channel so until next time peace